Okay, here we go. This is uh, Abyssin Restored Draft. It's the first game. I'm going to choose to play first. Uh, Alright, so the only early action we have is uh, the Alchemist. But we also have a Flicker and a Mist Raven. So I'm going to keep this. It may not be uh, the greatest hand, but we'll roll with it. Fight Club. Movement Wall Tracker. This guy is really sick. Um, especially in green because there's so many green fatties. So pretty much uh, it's definitely something that you want to kill early if you can. You definitely don't want to leave him around. Unfortunately, my deck, other than Bone Splinters, uh, Death Wind, and a couple other cards, I don't really have a lot of direct removal. So he's going to be tricky to deal with. But let's see what we can do. All right. So I'm going to play this Alchemist, and he'll hold the fort for me. So I have the combo, uh, Mist Raven slash Vanguard, um, which is sick with the flicker. Alright. So I think I'm going to run it. Oh, does he have an effect during my draw step? Nope. Alright, so question of the day. Nah, I think, actually, I'm going to play it safe. I'm not going to run uh, the Mist Raven out just yet. I will swing for a point, though, just to see if he chooses to block with this guy. And I think, instead, I'm going to play this Driver. Do I want to Soul Bond? Sure, why not? Next turn, uh, assuming nothing happens, I'm going to play probably the Griff Vanguard just to get the extra card. Oh, let the games begin. All right, so now question. I'm going to play a land, right? Obviously, I'm going to bounce his Druid familiar. I'm surprised that he didn't combine it with the uh, tracker, but that's cool. So I think I'm going to Mist Raven here, right? Just to keep him um, off his fatty. Keep the tempo advantage. I'm glad I saved that Mist Raven now. And then I'm going to swing for four. Hooray. Seraph of Dawn. That guy's a beating. This guy's deck is really good. Alright, so obviously his plan is going to be to um, to play his 4-drop next turn. And he's going to have a few good plays off of that. If he plays his 4-drop, uh, what he can do is he can make the Seraph big. Then he can fight with the Tracker. Um, this puts me kind of in a tricky situation. If I run out the Vanguard, I get an extra card. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... No, it would take me two turns to get enough mana to Vanguard and also Flicker. If I play the Vanguard, he's going to kill my Mist Raven, and then he's going to swing with his Fire. I really don't want that to happen, obviously. So, what should I do? I could Flicker his Seraph now, or I could Flicker the Mist Raven to get rid of his Seraph now and then swing, which would buy me some time, but I don't think that's good enough. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he may not have a land. Uh, 
It feels like I'm kind of delaying the inevitable here. I really need a way to kill that tracker. But there's nothing like stalling for a good way to do it. So let's go for it. Looks like he doesn't have the land. That's good for me. Oh, he does have the land. Alright, so he's going to play his fatty, right? And then if he's smart, what he's going to do is he's going to soul bind with the Seraph. And then he's going to activate Fight Club and he's going to try to kill my Mist Raven so that he can swing safely. Yep. Alright, so in response to this, I'm going to flicker this guy, and I'm going to flicker uh, this guy. Then I'm going to pay three. People are like, I'm so about that MTG. You guys are pretty hype, huh? Interesting. All right, so I'm going to return uh, the Seraph to his hand. That's the creature that I'm most worried about dealing with, obviously. Number one, it flies. Number two, it has lifelink. Uh, I'm going to bind it with the Mist Raven, just for kicks. Tracker's going to go off, but there's no legal target, so it will be countered. And he can't swing with his Druid's Familiar. Because it's now 2-2. Two -two. Ooh, and the answers have arrived. All right, so let me think about this. I should probably run the Vanguard because next turn I can um, play and equip the Trident. Also, I don't want him to know that I have it yet, obviously. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to swing with my two big guys. I'm going to really hope for another ghostly flicker. That's what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to tap five. Going to play Vanguard. Stern Mentor. Interesting. All right. Knowing that, I am going to uh, run through this trident. Now, here's what I need to have happen. I really need a Flicker or another Alchemist, maybe. Because then I can get the Mentor Beat started. He has 26 cards. What's up? This is Seraph. He's going to bind it with his fatty. And he's going to fight it out. He's going to gain a whole bunch of life. He's going to go back to 14. My guy's going to die.
Yeah, actually, Tamiyo would be good here. Because I could ice his Seraph and keep it locked down. Alright, so he's going to swing with his 4-4 four, four guy, most likely. I'm just going to take it. Actually, if he swings with his 4-4, four, four, I'm going to double block that shit. I'm going to kill it. He only has a green. Yeah. And that by him not attacking there, that to me means that. Alright, so let's think about our options here. He's at 14. He's going to be gaining a shit ton of life from the Seraph. He's not going to fight anything for the rest of the game. We need an answer to that tracker. We need an ASAP. We don't really have it. If I play the Mentor, what he's going to do is he's going to kill it. He has no reason not to kill it. So I can mill him for how many cards? I can mill him for four cards. That will put him at 22. It's nowhere near enough. I got to equip my guy and swing. That will put him at 8. He's going to gain 4 by killing my guy. And you know what? Let's keep the beats going. There's not really much else we can do. Just have to hope we get an answer. Oop, aww. Well, that was a blowout. I'm going to play my little guy. And I'm going to lose, most likely. No. I don't wish to use the ability. Yeah, I mean, it is good to be able to see what's in your hand because then later on you can look at it and say, well, hey, this is where you made mistakes. I don't think I really misplayed anything this game. I think that the tracker turn one really just kind of killed me. Scratch King Drake's going to die. He's going to swing. I'm going to go to 15. I'm going to swing with both. Really? If he has another joint assault, this game is over. But that's a risk that I'm willing to take. Cloud shift or oh, zealot strike? Alright, this game's over. 
Oopa. Alright. So obviously he has a lot of combat tricks. He has good creatures. He has flyers. Think I'm pretty screwed, but we'll see what happens. All right, one second. I'm just gonna start the next video. Ah, you know what? Let's just keep it together. Do I want a mulligan? <laughs> a bunch of blue mana and some black cards versus an aggressive deck. There's a draft deck to Echo Boomer, who's curious. Peace. Uh, Alright, I'll keep this. Oh, he made me go first. Interesting. Alright. Well, no turn one tracker this time. All right, this is not looking too bad. I can play a uh, alchemist, then I can play out a uh, scrapskin drake. Placers, I'm not too scared of that. At least right now. All right, play out the drake first. He's got a big body. It's annoying to kill. I'm definitely keeping that ghoul flesh for his tracker. I'm not using it otherwise. Ah, eh, Descendant's Path, that's interesting. Uh, so I could start the Mentor Beats, but I think I'll wait to see how the aggressive play works out first. So first, I will play the Alchemist. I will not soul bond, and I will say go. Alright, he's going to get... Oh, we know for a fact he has his mana base established. Four cards in hand. One of those is a mountain. So he has three options. The problem is I can't really race his lifelink guy. Huh. All right, we'll see if this is the right play. Just want to see what options there are. Okay, so we can have a peel, we can have a death wind, we can have another island. I think I really want both these cards, so island is going to go to the bottom. Not gonna swing on anything because he can just life link it. So I would show. All right. Oh, those go on the bottom of his library. I see. That's okay. I'll take that. Ha ha! I've been waiting for you, my friend.
Someone says the smarter play would have been to keep the island and just let the peel go. Braces cost two to equip, okay. So he's gonna swing. I'm gonna block here just in case. Then I'm gonna peel. Yeah, I hear people, a lot of people saying, how do you kill the angel? But, um, lifelink is not the end of the world. Yeah, go ahead, play your angel. Soul bonded with your guy. We know. So I need to top deck a land or an answer to a Seraph of Dawn ASAP. Land? Yes. Alright, here's a problem. He has a green untapped. We know what he's doing with that untapped green. Obviously. He's got a combat trick. Swing. Don't block. Yeah, that would be. That would be supremely stupid. All right. So. Now here's the question. I could duck. I could death wind his force mage, right? And that would make the seraph only a two. And I have a blocker. Owl Knight, I can't. The thing is, if I death wind the angel and he has a removal spell, I lose. Versus if I death wind the force mage right now, I can race the angel. Oh, he has the bracers. So I can't race the angel because it would get bigger. Alright. If he has an answer, then I'm fucked. This is probably bad, but... Yes! Hooray. And now we're in there. The only problem is he has that Slayer Stronghold. That's kind of a problem.
Haha. <laughs> Comedy. That's fair. Twenty five cards. All right, you need to hold the fort for as long as possible. <laughs> Show masters. All right, so I'm gonna play this mentor. Yes, I want to use the ability. Yes, I want to soul bond with this alchemist. Cool. So I can get him for four, eight. I can get him for 12 cards and then 13 cards the turn after that. This might actually work. No, 12 cards and then 8 cards is what I can get. And I also have a flicker to save them if necessary. Alright, you have a Geist Trappers. If this plan works, oh, six, twelve. I think I should just block and maybe flicker the Drake. Save him. What does he have? He tapped his red. There's no possible direct damage that he could play. Uh, and the stun mentor is not blocking. Eh, I'll save the flicker plan for later. Right? Fuck. See, my thinking here is, well, even if he does that, ah, too late, I already committed. All right, so we drew land, Upa. But we can mill him for a lot. So that's good. So he can give it. Oh man, free force mage? 
That's why. I need an answer. All right, what's he gonna swing with? Everything. But he's not boosting the Seraph. That's good. Oh, and he's not gonna swing with the Force Mage? Ha ha. Oh, he is gonna swing with the Force Mage. All right, so this is gonna block here. Drake's gonna block here. I'm not gonna block my Alchemist because if he plays a combat trick, then I lose. My guy comes back. <laughs> this plan might almost work. <laughs> the question is, do I play the shield mate or not? If I play the shield mate, I have another blocker. How much is he going to swing for next turn? For a lot. Alright, so play the shield mate. If I win this, I'm going to be amazed. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <sighs> I'm at 14. I'm going to eat guaranteed 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, Ultima, I can block, but here's the problem. If he uses a pump spell to kill the Alchemist, then I lose because the Stern Mentor won't be soul bonded anymore. And if he's not soul bonded, then, um, yeah, he can't do his thing. Oh, he didn't pump his guy? Yeah, see, is the other problem. He can use his stronghold to pump a guy also. That's a problem. So, let's see. How can we live through this? I can block 5 and 4 is 9. I would take... Well, I'm definitely blocking this here, right? Because that's the biggest guy here, right? 9. I would take... I'm at 14. I'm definitely blocking uh, this Force Mage. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Fuck. <sighs> I 
So if I block here, I take 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, but you can choose to kill my guy. I have no choice though, because if not, he can just slay a stronghold and kill me. See what he opts to do. This guy looks pretty smart. He'll probably make the right choice. He also may have combat tricks in his hand. I think he's been saving one for a while. Yep. I'm screwed. Untap. Mill. Damn it, so close. This guy's got a sick deck. Falconrath Exterminator. That guy's annoying. Oh, I lose. Oop, aww. Game over. Oh, well. That was a good run. Swing at everything. And that's it. That's the first round. I got bodied. But it is Swiss, which means that there's three rounds played. Um, if you still win two games um, in the Swiss later, then um, you can still get two packs. So that's what I'll be doing.